Hi guys, uh, this uh, video uh, will talk about uh, timer function which we have in VBA and today we are actually going to learn, we are going to learn this technique which can actually record our time, you know, whatever the duration your macro is going to have, you know, is going to spend on your this entire code, whether 1 second, 2 second or maybe 10 seconds, 50 seconds or maybe more than that, uh, this timer function actually is going to tell you that, you know, how many seconds you have actually taken. Uh, to run this macro, right? So, uh, before I uh, further proceed, I just want uh, wanted to tell you actually uh, what you can do is uh, you can go to my this uh, playlist and you can uh, check all the videos here uh, on Excel video, on Excel VBA and on specifically on the VBA, uh, that's the link, just click on that link and uh, this link will be shown to you once you'll uh, watch my any of my videos on the YouTube channel, just click on my name uh, Ajay Kumar and then it will take you to this page and uh, underneath this uh, playlist when you click you will get all these videos. So, so far I think there are around 16, 17 videos which I have uploaded so far on the VBA. So, according to the title you can scroll and you know you can check actually all the videos one by one, right? So, uh, this video uh, which I am right now uh, going to record, I am recording it, uh, this as I said that will specifically look for uh, you know uh, for this objective where you actually want to know that uh, how many seconds you know you are taking in recording a macro right so we're just going to start it uh, I'm just going to just name this up and we'll start with this uh, so I'll start with this let's say uh, for the loop I'm gonna start a loop uh, for i equals to uh, 1 to let's say 10 lakh okay and uh, what I want to do is, uh, I want to display display uh, some number over here, let's say 400 and then in cells, uh, let's say uh, maybe I can write M and uh, I'll just show you what actually I'm doing. So, uh, the point is uh, you don't have to actually uh, see this, you know, or concentrate on this code what I'm writing here, this is a, some junky whatever, I mean it's just came up in mind so I'm writing it. What exactly we are looking forward is that when this loop will run and well uh, it is going to enter, you know, before reaching to enter actually we should have, uh, you know, uh, this message box which can tell us that uh, how many seconds, you know, what is the duration of this macro in order to, uh, I mean, for the entire piece uh, it started running and so how long, you know, it took. So what we are going to do is, uh, we are, I'm going to declare these uh, two variables as um, long dim and then e time e time stands for the end time right and uh, s time would be my equals to timer now timer is a function in excel which actually gives you uh, the total number of seconds you know uh, from the last night you know from the morning 12 uh, am right from the very uh, from uh, from the very uh, that day where on which you are actually working right i'll just show you in in a moment so I'm going to say this timer here and uh, one, what I want is actually what I'm doing is when this course is uh, when this uh, loop is going to run and after it you know it is going to finish uh, when it comes over here it again records the time what exactly is the time on my, my system machine right and then we'll display it message box uh, I'll say that uh, time taken to run this is let's say I'll give the space and I'll say uh, e time minus my start time right that's it okay so uh, let me just run this code and uh, let me show you uh, this is my local window I have just uh, on it you can go to the view and you can click look on the local window local window is actually used to check the you know um, the values what values your variables are actually holding up so I'm going to run this just to explain you that you can see here that now this 47128 is uh, is a number which is there and uh, this timer function is actually has returned me this value right so I have converted this uh, 0.68 to actually uh, this whole number right uh, and uh, so now what exactly is happening here this timer function is keeps on you know it keeps on changing itself because this is uh, running time you know right now you can see uh, it's 47148 right the moment I uh, just you know uh, just take my this uh, 
mouse off from here and I again come back and hover you know this keep uh, this value keeps on changing so this value is actually running on the current time you know as the time is the seconds keeps on increasing this is also going to increase but over here in the local window it has recorded that this is the 47128 which is uh, which is my time now you might be wondering that why this 47128 uh, has come if, if I'm using a timer function so what exactly is happening is it is giving you the number of seconds for example if I say right now it's a now function if I'm using this function let me just paste this value and let me just uh, get this seconds as well now you see that uh, we have a time called this 06 six minutes 13 hours uh, at the time did uh, when I'm recording this video and it is giving me 28 seconds so what happens is that from the midnight 12 it actually calculates the number of seconds so obviously if right now this one you we have this uh, you know uh, 1 p.m. and if you if you're going to calculate the number of seconds from the midnight which is 12 then how will you actually do it obviously you'll do this you will multiply this by 3600 because it is a 13 hours so, so convert it to the seconds you'll just multiply it with this and then you have the six minutes so you'll multiply it with by 60 so you'll get the second right and 28 itself is a second so I'm not gonna change it now if you sum up this number you'll get this 47188 number of seconds so far you know from this day uh, today date is 20th May I'm recording this video so from 12 morning uh, on this date 20th May and till the time I'm recording this video which is now I have recorded here as a 1 p.m. 6 minutes and 28 seconds these are the seconds which actually you know which are gone so that's something which I'm getting here right 47128 I'm getting here and this is 47188 because the time uh, because this is not exact the time I was just actually giving the example uh, this is the right this is the time when I actually use this when uh, now function but the time which VBA has set up when I ran this code it was actually 47128 so these are the number of seconds which I'm going to calculate right so now this okay so I have a error here uh, I beg your pardon I have to declare this long right in case if you not aware that what exactly is happening here like why I have declared it long uh, when it was integer why it is uh, it has thrown a you know it's, it has thrown an error then uh, I would suggest you to watch my this video uh, I'll just show you on the VBA playlist go to the VBA playlist and there I talked about the data type handling why it is important to uh, give a specific data type you know why it is integer why it is long why it is uh, double single or you know a number of things so uh, now uh, I'm done with the with this code now what we actually going to do is we are going to display these numbers one by one uh, okay so application not defined so okay so I should write here dim m and uh, I'll say here it's integer again I'll define this integer this will reset my this and what else uh, all right so yeah before uh, I want to start this I want to also ensure one thing that this macro should always be run on my this sheet one okay so I'll select this so that if I'm on the sheet two then nobody um, if somebody is running this macro then that macro is going to run on the sheet two right so in order to avoid that situation I just I must declare it specifically that it should actually start from here so let me press this now okay application defined object error so we have again uh, uh, error here so okay yeah so why I'm getting this error because m equals to 0 I haven't declared m here right I have to give the one so m is acting as a row so in Excel there is no row with value 0 right we always have the first row and then it you know goes downward and it goes till 10 lakh 53,000 I guess you know whatever anyways okay so now I'm gonna run this and uh, see what will happen this code is working this will display all the numbers uh, column A column B till you know this uh, whatever the number I have written here 10 lakh and then whatever the time will be there uh, I will get that time you know so it's a long actually code let's wait for this and uh, then uh, let's see what exactly we are getting here ideally it is going to uh, increment the number this m by uh, you know it keep on uh, increasing the number uh, one by one and uh, okay so I'm gonna escape this I think we did the error so let me just press escape so guys uh, when you press actually escape what happens your code actually is going to stop if you have the option called control pause break that that is also the option you can use it so what actually I did is uh, I forgot to increase this value by one because what I want is that down the line you know these numbers should be published 
like 400 and then 400 and 400 and so on you know and also to know that uh, note that uh, i have i'm also increasing the value of this m right so that this row should be it keeps on increasing and keep on you know uh, moving down right so i'm now going to run this code and let's see what will happen so this code is now running it is going till uh, these many you know loops and finally i'm seeing that uh, getting this time taken to run this is 5 seconds right so it has taken the 5 seconds i can show you again what exactly is happening uh, i can show you uh, like this in f8 so S time has now, it has given me these number of seconds and M has taken the value of M as one. And now, as you can see here, these, look at the Excel file, right? So what is happening is this loop will keep on running like this, right? And now when I'm gonna press F5, it will run just in one go. And whatever the time we have taken so far to record the macro, it will be actually published. So we have taken 22 seconds, right? So that's how you can record your macro and you can actually make it very stylish and um, you know, uh, anybody who's working on your macro they can actually be very much you know influenced by this idea that you know is giving you the time as well right so uh, in case uh, now I have written a seconds but what if you your macro is long and it may take one minute two minutes so you can always do the adjustment you can divide this you know since this value is in seconds as I was uh, as I explained you you know earlier that this is taking the number of seconds uh, from the midnight uh, of the same day you can definitely go ahead and you know divide by the 60 and do all those calculations right if i get the time i'll definitely uh, upload a new video on the same so that's it for now and that's my email id let me know in case uh, you know if you have some questions so till then guys thank you so much uh, uh, once again i want to thank you for putting up such wonderful questions and day by day i'm seeing that my subscriber base and you know the views are getting increased so that's completely shows that you know you're liking the videos and not just liking the videos but i'm sure it must be helping you a lot in your day-to-day -day work right so um with the uh, you know promise that i'm i'll again upload some something very fantastic on excel or vba um, with that promise for, uh, for right now, I'm just signing off and till then, take care.